Hello guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to update your OnePlus One to the latest build using TWRP recovery or the stock recovery. I'll start with the stock recovery and by this method, you can even flash the lollipop update whenever it comes out. By the time you're watching this video, if Sinusion Mod 12S, that's the lollipop for the OnePlus One is out, then I'll give the link of the that update in the description below. Simply download the lollipop update build and follow the same method and you will be able to flash the lollipop build. First of all, let's start with the stock recovery method. If you have not unlocked your bootloader, if you haven't rooted your phone, then this method is for you. For that, simply download the update.zip I have already downloaded it and as you can see over here this is the update.zip file and after that simply go into settings then go into about phone and then tap the build number seven times after that develop options will be enabled for you and now select advanced reboot now long press the power button select reboot and select recovery and hit ok now we'll reboot into the stock recovery of the Cyanogen mod so as you can see over here we have successfully booted into the Cyanogen mod recovery and now select the second option which says apply update select that select choose from internal storage and select zero that's the internal storage and select the update.zip which is the first file over here and if you have put the file into some folders then simply select that folder and if that file is present in the download folder then it will be shown to you but my file is present over here so simply select update.zip and this will automatically flash the update.zip now and after this you will be on the latest build so guys as you can see over here the flashing has been completed and now simply hit the reboot system now button and we'll reboot into system and you don't have to do anything else if you are on stock recovery so uh, that's it so we have successfully booted into the system and let's go into settings once again and as you can see in the about phone the latest build is 05Q that's the latest build so we have successfully flashed the latest build so guys that was for the stock recovery like if you have stock recovery installed then that was the method for you and if you have TWRP recovery then I'll show you the method right now first of all go into settings then go into develop options and see to it that you have not checked the option of update CM recovery see to it that it's unchecked so that it won't be like uh, the CM recovery will be flashed again after that simply hit the reboot button then select recovery and hit ok and now we will reboot into TWRP recovery and guys as you can see over here we have successfully booted into the TWRP recovery now select wipe then select advanced wipe now select Dalvik cache and cache see to it that you select only these options otherwise unnecessarily the system or the data if you mistakenly select it it will be wiped select Dalvik cache and cache then simply swipe to wipe this will wipe the cache and Dalvik cache after that go into install and now select the update.zip whichever update you want to flash select that and just swipe to confirm flash so guys as you can see over here the zip install has been completed now simply hit reboot system and after that it will ask you install super su question mark if you want to root your device then simply select swipe to install and if you do not want to root your device select do not install but uh, if, if you have TWRP recovery installed that means you may want to swipe to install and have the root access so simply swipe to install and have the root access I don't need it as of now so I am selecting do not install so this way you can flash the update through TWRP recovery and the stock recovery so this is it for this video guys thank you for watching don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and if you have any doubts or queries then don't forget to leave them in the comment section below I'll surely try to answer them and all the download links will be in the description below so don't forget to check that out too so thank you guys, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.